Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, guys. So I was sitting sitting here, and I'm going to uh, make. I'm making a bracelet, and obviously pondering about stuff. And the thing I'm thinking about right now, it's of course, well, maybe not so surprising. End of the year, as we are approaching the New Year's. It becomes very obvious, at least to me, that a lot of people start to think about, you know, start contemplating about their life. Let's see if I can get this through. Nailed it. Come New Year's, you know, promises about like humongous life changes and things like that just start to rain all around and you know, the ambitions seems so incredibly high. And that's always been kind of interesting to me because, you know, is now really the best time for making such huge commitments and such plans? I mean, if you live in like Northern Hemisphere, like I do, this time of the year is really really dark yeah we have like a few hours of daylight as of right now we are approaching the, the most dark uh, time of the year and the sun comes up like around 9 30 or 10 and sets at the uh, 1 30 in the afternoon and of course i mean if you live even further up north you would don't even see the sun by now. And you won't see it until well, like February or March either. So, and I mean, of course that affects your energy levels to get so little light, sunlight on your face. The vitamin D levels, of course, are just plummeting. So, I mean, so that's where my like my pondering starts. I mean, is it is it a good place to start? Maybe I mean planning maybe not be such a bad idea because I mean planning is planning is good for us and looking forward to things makes us enjoy the thing that we are looking forward to even more. I mean we look we feel a lot of happiness oftentimes when we actually look forward to things. But you know the re the actually implementing is 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 it the time during the darkest of winter to do that? I'm not sure. And also, you know, like the beginning or well, all of autumn and the beginning of winter, like before New Year's, uh, they're so packed. It's so packed with holidays and um, social gatherings and. A lot of th things to do to get done before the New Year's uh, at the workplace and everything as well. Having all that in mind, what makes us think that we will have the energy to implement huge life-changing plans and change up routines and breaking old patterns? I mean, that shit's hard and it requires a lot of energy and willpower. And, yeah, it just doesn't seem fair to ourselves to put that kind of strain on ourselves right now at this, at this time of the year. Wouldn't it be better if we actually gave ourselves a shot in hell to, <laughs> to change, to do the changes that we want to make with our New Year's resolutions and stuff? There's a reason. Why the gyms are like packed from January 1st till like middle of March and come March 31st, they are just dead silent. How come the New Year's have become like the time of the year that we contemplate our lives and decide on big changes that we're gonna make? What makes it the ultimate point of new beginnings? Oh my god, it's so nice to sit here right now. We have we have kind of cold today. It's like minus twenty two degrees Celsius outside. So sitting here by the fire is 
a great place to be, I have to say. There we go. It's not that hard. It's difficult to actually talk and do this at the same time, I realize. Has New Year's become the time of the year when you contemplate your life and make decisions about what to change or not? Is it some kind of, um, you know, market thing? Something that they made up just to, you know, catch us in, in the end of the buying stuff for holidays and also like Halloween, Black Friday and all of those things. Is it like a market thing that they just want to, you know, buy all, all your new gym gear and just stuff like that? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I should just Google it. Okay, well, after Googling it, I uh, learned that it New Year's um, New Year's pledges has been around since like four thousand years ago. So it's not really a new thing. But back then, uh, of course, well, people didn't yeah. pledge to get like rip for Beach Twenty Twenty Four. It was more like pledging to be better for the gods and stuff like that. Or really, what the hell do I know? Maybe they also pledged to get ripped. I mean, I've never been ripped, but I, I bet it's kind of a nice thing, and a lot of people do it. And be pledged, or whatever that as a resolution to, you know, get fit. Anyway, personally, I think a lot of like personal development and how I want to design my life um, and I've always that's something I've always done so it comes very natural to me and I like to learn things and things like that so I really think about that all <laughs> all year round but something that is a pattern I've noticed is I mean January it's not really a good month for me to get started on new things. I I realized that, you know, the general feeling in January feels like you should be all like pumped up about the new year and stuff like that. But I I always feel kind of tired in January. So I mean January has never really felt like the beginning of anything for me well except the new year of course but um, nothing more than that really for me personally I have like two times a year that is like my new year when I have the energy and I feel like I'm in a way better place than right now to actually start to reinforce my my resolutions my plans my visions and that's um, in spring, winter, like March, when there is the sun is back, it's uh, way, way, way more light during the day, and also still snow on the ground. So it's uh, when on a sunny day, it can be so, 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 so bright. And also in uh, August and September. And if you think about it, it's not really weird at all. Like I said, in March, uh, the sun has come back, it's really bright outside, um, the temperatures have uh, risen, so it's not as cold. Even though I actually I enjoy the cold, I do, but still, uh, the changing of the season, I guess. And in August, I mean, it's been bright out almost 24-7 here where I live all summer, and... Uh, so my uh, like light light battery in my body is like fully charged. It's just a completely different feeling to go into the project of changing your routines because I says changing your routines and things like that and habits. It's not an easy easy thing. It's very very easy to just fall back into all the old patterns. And also in August and September, that around that time, it's also. Yeah, I mean, probably I've had maybe longer time off work, yeah, like vacations. So I have had some time maybe contemplating 
even more about the changes I want to make and uh, stored up some more energy. So, I mean, if you look at those starting points, I mean, right now it's dark as and cold, at least here where I live. Yeah, it's been like yeah, all of the things in the kitchen sink going on like in the autumn. It's it's uh, Halloween and it's the Black Weeks and Fridays and Cyber something or other. I don't even know anymore. And uh, then the whole the, the whole of December is like you know all the Christmas decorations and and like expectations. I mean, you can't really get away from those. I mean, even if I feel like I have kind of a laid back relationship to the holidays, the expectations still like seeps into you, I guess. So yeah, I don't know, but to me it feels like a no brainer to just begin changing your life in sync with the seasons more because as of right now in january or february i mean i'm gonna be like idle almost because that's the energy i feel and that's what i feel like i feel like my brain and my body needs that so speaking of energies uh, and with the risk of sounding like woo boo the end Speaking of energies and with the risk of maybe sounding a little woo woo, um, the energy in spring compared to now is just so different. And also compared to late, I've got it fun. Man, as of right now, I feel like the energy in general, like from people, are very low vibration. And if it rises, it's it's not in a good way. It's often, at least to me, it feels like it's often uh, stressed and nervous and some kind of shit were crumbling under numbing expectations. That might just be me, of course, and... Of course, very personal thing, if you feel that or not. But when I compare that to the energy I feel from people in like March till September, really, it's it's just an uh, it's just a whole other, another thing. It's uh, people feel like more upbeat, I guess, in general, and. Um, People feel light-hearted, and when the, their their energy and their vibration, so to say, I don't know how to say it any any other way. Yeah, uh, when it goes, when it rises, it's the light-hearted positivity that shines through, and it affects at least me. And really, that's. That's more like the energy I want to take with me into a journey of change. So yeah, that's something I'm sitting here and thinking about. And I would love to hear what you think about this as well. Um, is New Year's uh, like a big thing for you? Is it like a big, do you feel like it's a good place to start new things? Um, start changing changing your life it sounds so dramatic i mean it doesn't have to be as big as like changing your life but you know what i mean even just uh, switching up routines making the new year's resolution i would love to hear what you think and your like your experiences with uh, new year's resolutions as well i mean i feel also like it's uh, it's not as fun to make New Year's resolutions because then you only have one year to do something and maybe sometimes that's uh, accurate, maybe that's um, appropriate sometimes, but I mean, to me, uh, the changes I want to make in life and uh, how I want to develop myself and everything, it's like a journey for my whole life. I want more, it's not just one year. 
to to do things. So yeah, there's a lot lot to think about with that. I think now I think I'm gonna go somewhere and get a lamp because it was kind of difficult to see sitting here. It was super cozy. It was so cozy, but I need to see what I'm doing. Maybe I just get a headlamp. But headlamps are just a lifesaver <laughs> when you live where I live and it's dark from like 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. till 10 a.m. in the morning. Anyway, well, I'm gonna get going with this. It's gonna become a bracelet. Very nice with the the pewter bracelet and uh, reindeer skin. Anyway, thank you for watching this and taking part of my New Year's resolution ponderings. And as I said, I would love to hear what you think as well. Bye.